Good morning, my friends. Today is Thursday, January 4th. It's the Thursday before the Epiphany. It's a memorial of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Also, two invitations again. Season A to be formed, which starts February 14th. Registration is open until February 11th. But if you want a workbook, a physical workbook, we need you to register by January 23rd so we can get those printed and delivered. Also, I want to invite you to Healing the Whole Person. Uh, Sister Miriam James and uh, Dr. Bob Schutz and his brother Bart Schutz will be here February 8th, 9th, and 10th. A retreat for priests and seminarians on February 7th. You can get more information on my blog, also on jp2healingcenter.org. You can also find information on Beformed on the Diocese of Joliet, uh, diojoliet.org website, go to Catechesis and Evangelization. Who is Elizabeth Ann Seton? She was born into a prominent Protestant family, uh, got married, had five children, and unfortunately her husband died uh, at a very young age in his 20s. Elizabeth Ann Seton, trying to raise five children, uh, a year later became Catholic, much to the chagrin of her family. She tried to start a school uh, for children in the area, and when the parents found out that she was Catholic, they pulled their children out, unfortunately. And so she was invited then to go start a school in Baltimore, and this was a, a Catholic school, and she, she started the Sisters of Charity of St. Joseph. And she was allowed to start this religious order school while she was raising her youngest children, and um, became very successful. And she is known as the foundress and the, the patroness of the Catholic education in America. And I'm very grateful to her because going to Providence Catholic High School in New Lenox changed my life, brought me into the church back in the 1980s. Let's take a look at these readings today. In the Gospel of John, we continue from where we were yesterday. So John the Baptist had a large following. People thought he might be the Messiah. And so it says he's with two of his disciples. He sees Jesus walk by and he tells them, Behold the Lamb of God. And of course, the Lamb of God... Uh, is what, this is what we say at every Mass. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Um, Jesus turned and he, he saw that the men were following him. And he says, what are you looking for? Now imagine you coming to Jesus today and he says, what are you looking for? How would you answer that question? And so they say, Rabbi, where are you staying? Interesting question. And he says, come and you will see. He invites us to have an encounter with him. And so they went to where he was staying and they stayed there uh, all that day. It was about four in the afternoon. So this is important. So St. John, who's writing this gospel, remembers four o'clock, I encountered Jesus, changed my life. Do you remember when you first encountered the living Christ? Do you remember that moment. I remember receiving my, my first communion um, at, at, you know, in high school and it was, it was groundbreaking, you know, and since then in prayer, in the Eucharist, in, in other people, I've encountered the Lord repeatedly in the scriptures. I've encountered the Lord and he keeps inviting me to go deeper, come and see, come and go deeper. Then it says, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. So Andrew had been a disciple of John the Baptist, became a follower of Jesus. And then he went to get Simon, his brother. And he says, we found the Messiah. There's a great depiction of this in the, the Chosen, where Andrew excitedly goes to Simon and Simon kind of blows him off. Well, well later on, when he does meet Jesus, he drops to his knees and he says, my Lord and my God, you know, he you know, depart from me for I'm a sinner. When we encounter the love of God, we realize that we're sinners. We realize that we've got nothing compared to what he can do in and through us. And Jesus changes his name. You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, meaning rock, and also translated to Peter. And so, um, so he's known as Simon Peter then from then on. And when we encounter Jesus, we're changed. We may not literally change our names, but the Lord calls us to this new way of life. Going into the, the first letter of St. John, you know, he says, 
in this way, uh, talking about the way we live our lives, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. If someone were to put us on trial, if you will, and said, this is how you live your life. This is how he or she lives his life. Would people know, you know, you are a child of God and maybe other people are children of the devil? Um, may our lives be so transformed by Jesus where it's obvious who we follow. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for people like John the Baptist pointing us the way. We thank you for St. Elizabeth Seton for following your call and starting the Catholic education system in our country. Help us to follow you with our whole heart, mind, and soul. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune into your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.